Township Design Review Board meeting. Before we get started, I'm going to ask Colin to lead us in a Pledge of Allegiance. So please stand. Okay, before we get started, just to let you know, these meetings are televised live. So please, when you approach the podium, let us know who you are and the business you represent, and you can lay your plans down at the table next to the podium. So we'll get started tonight. Our first application is DRB 2022, the application at Image 360 of the main line at 775 East Lancaster Avenue in Villanova, and are representing KBC Advisors. Hello there. Hi, how are you? All right. Is this... Where's the camera? There you go. I'm Dave with Image 360 of the main line. I'm representing KBC Advisors. Uh, it's a real estate firm moving into the uh, Villanova Shopping Center on Lancaster Ave. What we're proposing are a set of dimensional letters on the second floor where their office is. Dave, the, uh, Dave, excuse me, just under the mic. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, we're proposing a set of metal letters, uh, not illuminated, on the second floor of their of their office. Uh, all black, mounted with blind studs behind the letter, so no hardware is going to show. And I have the letter height as eight inches, and the topography of the logo is twenty seven inches. They intentionally wanted like kind of like a subtle logo. It's not very big. And that's it. Is there anything there now or not? No, there's nothing there. Okay. Nothing there. Okay. All right. So it's a pretty simple application, but we always have a, an issue in that location. Uh, I guess variants were, were granted years ago uh, because it does exceed our height, the oh, 15 yeah. square feet from grade. So uh, with our um, approval tonight, we'll make it a conditional approval. Uh, it's going to have to go before uh, the zoning board, or zoning officer, I should say, just to make sure everything is okay uh, with that height. Okay. All right. So um, So do they need a variance? or I just No, no. I'm, I, I kind of said it wrong. They just, uh, Kevin Kachansky, okay. the zoning officer, will okay. have to look it over, make yeah. sure it that height is okay in that location. There's been some things granted there yeah. uh, in prior uh, sign applications, so. Yeah. All right. So what's the board feel about the sign and the size and all that stuff? I, I'd see no problem with it. I think it's nice. It'll look nice there. Okay, from a legal standpoint, Tim, I mean, it, does it sound, basically what I said, does that sound right? Yeah, I think the, there are, were variances granted to that property. I don't know the terms of those, but mm -hmm. yeah, I think we just need to have that reviewed. We, obviously, that's something that's going to be reviewed by Kevin without us saying it, but mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. that's something without him here, here tonight to say yay yeah. or nay. We mm -hmm. just need to give it that as the condition just so. Yeah. Okay. To make it rear, clear. Is this on the rear of the building or the front? It's the front, it's but the front side. faces the... The front face is a parking lot. It's not. It's not uh, street facing. You know where the uh, the it restaurant is. faces east first instead of. Yeah, first. This is like to the right of first wash and up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so it's not really even facing the street. Right. That's my point. Right. You exactly. can see it from no, the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Not the front elevation. No. Okay. Jane, you're all right. You're. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Good. As long as it's it's Kevin's fine with it. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, Dave, any questions for the board? No. You're Congratulations. Good? On? On your retirement. Oh, I got, thanks. <laughs> I got an email. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. So, uh, Tim, you want to take this one? Sure. In the matter of DRB 2022-07, the application of Image 360 for the property at 775 East Lancaster Avenue, I uh, move for conditional approval of the application. Okay. Do we have a second? I right. second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And your mic was off. Okay. Official second. Second. Okay, good. All right. Okay, next is DRB 2022-08, the application at Jason Gerber at the Wayne House at 100 Windermere Avenue in Wayne for a ground sign. Oh, I know right here. Yes. 
Hi there. Hi. So I'm uh, Jason Gerber, the property manager for uh, the building here with Lombardi Residential. Uh, it's located on the corner of South Wayne and Windermere Avenue across from the Radnor Middle School. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is facing the front of the building when you enter. Um, what the proposal is uh, with the existing sign, as you can see, it's peeling, mm -hmm. outdated colors. Um, this is a luxury apartment complex. Um, there's some updating uh, that's taking place. Um, the, exist, the sign that we're proposing, it is black with silver lettering, which is etched, so it's a, a really nice sign. Um, as you can see, a much more improved look, we think, than the existing sign. Um, it will be basically, we're proposing putting it in the same location, so the posts will be new pressure treated posts that will be wrapped in vinyl. Uh, so it should look for, look good for a really long time. And it will fit in the same, basically the same parameters as the existing sign currently. What do you guys think? It, is the size exactly the same? It is. Oh, the side. It's and it'll exactly. be on both sides? Uh, no, just on the on one front. Side. Yes. Tim, going. Any lighting? Is there existing lighting on that sign? No, but there I'll will there will be. We're uh, okay. looking to put in lighting. So okay. All right. Fr from the ground. Yes. Ground okay. lighting. Okay. And I believe uh, I think you have to get a qualified electrician to do all that. Okay. So that's. Uh, um, we do have an electrician. I'm sorry. Need. We do have an electrician that we're using. Okay. At the building. Okay. So we'll 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 put that in the motion that. The, the applicant's going to put uh, lighting, ground lighting to that sign. It's, it's not in the application, but the, the other thing is just a, um, just mention it to you. A lot of people with signs like this will put a little flower bed at the base. Okay. And a lot of times it just saves uh, the post from getting weed whacked to death. Mm. Okay. So you, something you may want to consider. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll, it'll look nice too. Okay. So. And the light won't get weed whacked either. Right. Yeah. So you re actually recommend putting lighting on it? That is recommended. Well, the lighting's your call. Okay. Yeah. yeah lighting. I mean, we we up. have plans that we were going to put lighting. Yeah. On. Just a little up lighting so. for it. Okay. Yeah, it'll probably look good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. No, it looks like a nice improvement. Oh yeah. What's there? Yeah. yeah. It's a shame. I kind of as I drove here tonight, I, I drove by it and you kind of have it. I'm trying to think what uh, sign it is. Yellow sign in front. You know, uh, it's the state heart. Great, uh, like a yeah. green yeah. with yeah, a yellow backing. Yeah, it kind of takes a little bit, just if you yeah. had the right angle. I apologize with the photos I gave you. They were black and white. I do have copies here. If you wanted copies to keep, I can give you it's the, another one the of those color. Colors, so. It just seems like, is the, is the lettering gold or is it white? That's all I can't tell. Silver. The, silver. The new sign is black with silver okay. lettering. That's all I It's etched tell. Yeah. lettering. Yeah, so it's the black and white then was almost exactly the same. <laughs> right. Okay, good. It's that yellow sign. It's ugly. <laughs> uh, Jason, any questions or comments for the board? Or no. You're good? No. Board? Everybody's happy? Yep. Yeah. Good? Good. Jane? Good. Okay. Colin, you want to take this one? Sure. Uh, in the matter of DRB 2022-08, 100 Windermere Avenue, uh, Lombardi Properties, uh, new uh, ground mounted uh, sign with additional up lighting um, that will be done at a future date. Motion to approve. Okay, second. second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, next on the agenda is. DRB 2022-09, the application of from new Philadelphia sign for Nayo Ho at 236 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for one new aluminum flat sign and a freestanding sign. And this is for Ali Nail Bar, which was formerly Hoogie Joe's Restaurant, which mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody's familiar with. Hi. Hello. Hi there. How are you? Good. How are you? What's that? Joe's, Joe's Place. Yes. Yeah. 
Today I represent for Alinel Bar to propose for new two new commercial sites. Okay. The first one in this the the platform uh I on the roof like the Alinel Bar just that green and blue color, like okay. aluminum bar and vinyl leather. Mm -hmm. And the second one we okay. will both for the the plastic bar and put the green and blue color just symbol and then we just do the same side with the the, the existing one mm -hmm. so it's okay so we'll look at the wall sign first any any comments yeah. from the board um not yet <laughs> is it all is it is a one piece and yeah just only uh, one piece aluminum ball and then we put the vinyl layer the green and blue color on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the second one we do the with the plastic plastic ball with the vinyl layer, the green and blue too. Are either of those two signs gonna be lit? Are they or is it gonna be lighting or no lighting? No light. On no. either one? Yeah, none. None. No, no light. No lights. Yeah. Okay. We just do the same at the existing yeah. side, mm -hmm. no light there. Well, it's an improvement over Joe's sign. I was just going to say Yeah, that. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Poor Joe. <laughs> yeah. Now we will take right. it up and uh, give to the, the owner, you know John? Yeah, yeah John. Yeah, yeah he wanted it. So. He wanted it? All yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, comments, questions? I have none. None? I have none except that where's the, is the address on the door? No. Nah. Isn't it part of the, you have to have the address yeah. on the... Yeah, it's uh, away from the door. Yeah. Above the door, I can't see. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's funny, it, uh, the, like remember they were in maybe a few months ago, they put that new door in. So there's actually two doors now. <laughs> I think there is. Yes, I think yes. one is for now, the apartments. Now, yeah, now two doors. Yeah, this one is for the, the salon. Another one right here is for the apartment. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. okay. So if you, you feel they'd, they'd both be the same address as such? Yeah. Okay. Well, just make sure uh, the address is on each door if yes. they're different. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we are on the first law. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. All right. Any questions for our board? Yeah, no. You're good? Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, Jane, you want to take this one? Yeah. Out? For DRB 2022-09 for the new, new sign at I got it. Alley nail bar. It won't be lit. I move for approval. Seconded. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay. Next is DRB 2022-10. The application of La Maison from Image 360 at 215 Sugartown Road in Wayne yeah, for a monument right. sign and wall signage. Hi, it's me again. Hello, David. Hi. Yes. Yeah. They did. What you No, I didn't. They don't like it. They don't like their signs. All right. Uh, the first sign <coughs> that I'm proposing, oh, I'm Dave at Image 360. Uh, I'm here representing the, the fitness club La Maison in, uh, in Wayne. Um, currently, and it, you can't tell from this picture, there is a current monument sign there. Um, and they want to replace that monument with a new monument, the exact same size. Um, and then they're going to plant a garden bed around it, just like Robert recommended to the other gentleman here. Mm -hmm. So there's gonna be landscaping here around the base of the sign. So we're gonna dig out the current sign, put a same sign, same size sign there as our, that's already there. Uh, it's an illuminated cabinet, it's double-sided. It's got dimensional letters popping out from the cabinet that light up at night. They're gonna glow in kind of like a cream color and I have the measurements listed if you need them. Uh, the La Maison is 10 inches. 
the health and fitness and the bounce back physical therapy are two and a half inches. And Dave, the overall sign is exactly the same. It's square exactly, footage. Yep. It's what's there. Yeah, it's okay. uh, what, 44 square feet. square feet sign on that property like 30 is the max but yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah if it's there it's there so well, i mean half the sign is just the base you know like, did, you, did you take that into effect then no i'm just measuring the total overall sign but going in the same location yeah okay the railroad ties are staying around there's a planner that i'm seeing on google maps they're going to redo all that landscaping. Okay. And look, like the landscaping now is not. They want to. They want to look a, m a little more elegant. Okay. Less industrial. Kevin, the zoning order, zoning officer, is not here tonight, but he wanted to make sure that it's exact same size. All right. It will be the exact He's same. He's going to check it out. Yeah, and you know what, Dave, if you can, uh, make sure you get to him all the measurements if they're not there. Okay. Like, both the wall signage and the. Uh, uh, ground signage, all right? Was he concerned that it's now square or not? No, I think he just wants to make sure that, I mean. Yeah, that, the, the shape is different. Yeah, but I, I think usually when we look at that, we just square it up. But yeah, he just wants to make sure um, they're not going any larger than what's there, so. Because it's basically an in kind uh, application, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're all good on the. There's uh, two signs. Sign? I'm sorry, say that again. Are you taking a parking space to make the planning bay larger? No, uh, I'm not that. sure of that. Okay. All right. well, it like it. Oh, yeah, because it wouldn't. It, otherwise, the sign would get bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All, all right, right, so we're, we're all good on the uh, monument? Mm hmm. Okay. All right, Dave, let's look at some wall signage. Yeah. Colin, you were probably on the board when that came in, right? Which one? The wall sign? Yeah, it was recently. Yeah, it wasn't that it was long like two ago. Years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it. Oh, really? Floated a little high. And I think we kind of measured it out from the upper tier of the parking lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's not too offensive. No, no, it's over. not on a building like that. Yeah. Well, especially with the Sharita design, I think it'll look better with it. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, so. Uh, so the second sign is dimensional letters. Uh, they're going to be black, and they're going to be halo lit. So it's going to be very subtle because it's black on like a, like a dark red brick building. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it's roughly the same square footage as what is there now, except what's there now is two separate signs. One's got like an oval and... Mm -hmm. I don't know, you have, can you guys see it on your, okay. Yeah, this is much cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. Closer. Yeah, they, they hired a, like a designer, like a, like a brand specialist to come up with like a new package and it's, it's a lot more contemporary than what they had. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's better than what's there. I mean, subject the to the sizes right. being the same, I really have nothing but no, to no. say this is, looks yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like I say, Dave, just get those measurements to Kevin. Okay. Yeah, just okay. to make sure what's there. Or yeah. I'm sure we have in our township files yeah. uh, what was okay a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And just give them the, the figures for today. Make sure that they're no larger. Okay. All right. Uh, is there going to be much work to be done as far as patching up holes in that building from the previous sign? Well, the, the new letters are going to have more holes than the, than the current sign because the current sign is one piece. Mm -hmm. So there won't. The letters will cover the holes. Okay. All right, you guys are good? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. Good, good. Tim? Yep. Okay. Tim, you want to take it? Sure. In the matter of DRB 2022 10, the application of La Maison, I uh, move to approve the application uh, contingent upon confirmation of the size of the signs matching what is currently existing. And, and we'll just say the height also. And the height. Yeah. Size and location of the signs matching what is currently existing. Okay, great. Here's a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Dave, any questions for the board or comments? No, you're good? You. Yeah. You're done for tonight? Yeah. I'm done. All right, good to see you, Dave. Thank you. 
Thank you. Next on tonight's agenda is DRB 2022, the application Republic First Bank, rep, uh, brought in by Eastern Sign at 212 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for monument sign, ground signs, wall signs, Black zone to Wayne Business Overlay District. Hello there. Hello, Bob Grayson with Eastern Sign Tech representing Republic Bank. Hi, Bob. Um, so we're uh, they're proposing a, to reface the existing monument sign. Mm -hmm. um, two wall signs that went over the front entrance, one over the rear entrance, and um, three directional signs, two of which exist at each entrance off of Lancaster Avenue, and one off the rear island uh, directing traffic to the drive through and preventing it from coming back out the other way. Okay. These drivers in Reiner Township wouldn't do that, would they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bob, you want to just walk us page by page, yeah. pretty much? And uh, the monument exists as is. All they're doing is putting in uh, a new face, identical face on either side. Um, it's illuminated. Uh, the main uh, body of the sign is uh, solid aluminum, uh, 090, thin, painted blue, uh, routed with the uh, push-through letters. So the only thing that will illuminate at night is the uh, red R and the white uh, ePublic Bank and that applies to both sides. Uh, the retainer is currently black. That'll just be repainted black. Mm -hmm. uh, the address uh, on the brick wall will stay as is. Okay, you guys good with that one? Yeah. Good, yeah. Tim? Yep. Jane, good? Yeah. Okay, good. So we'll move to the next one. Uh, the next page is the um, three di uh, directional signs. Uh, there are two um, exist currently at each entrance. The third one that says drive through, uh, drive through TM to the left, if you do not enter on the back side, will be on the back island at the rear of the property. Uh, those are the same, uh, it's solid aluminum, painted blue. Uh, the directional information uh, will be pushed through letters. Uh, they'll be seen at night, the Republic Bank will be a vinyl overlay, which will not be illuminated. Okay, good. How are you guys on that? Good? Yep. Good, yep. good. It's not that tall. That's good. I'm sorry? It's not too high. Um, you know, we have the, the overall height is two feet. Uh, no, no, it's not. Grade? It's not too high. Oh, no, there, yeah. we, I, there's another place. Okay. The next page are the two uh, wall signs above the front entrance and the rear entrance. Mm -hmm. um, they are uh, polished stainless steel frame uh, with the same... Uh, manufacturing process of painted blue aluminum uh, face with the white push through letters and the red R. Um, is, there, is there an existing sign on They the, were, it wasn't, the it, there, well, it's been removed same as the front, okay. uh, the TD bank, uh, they were removed. Mm -hmm. um, there was one on the Yes, there was. The right. Yes. Okay. Just uh, yeah. I, I, okay. totals, each one totals 24.875 uh, square feet, so it comes in under the 50 total square mm -hmm. feet of wall signage. So they're identical. Yeah, they are two. identical. I, I know years ago when Commerce Bank was there, and I just remember Commerce Bank. Mm -hmm. So they came in and they put uh, a sign up on the back of the building yeah. and illuminated it. And the neighbor, the neighbor screen. Yeah. So personally, I think the only people that are going back there know they're going to the Republic Bank. Right. Yeah. To me, it doesn't need signage or it needs. Well, it's a question, Mike. Is I'm There's sorry? no entitlement to a sign on the back of the building. I'm saying that so if they if the sign was there and yes. removed, then yeah. the nonconformity has been has been vacated at this point. So there's no entitlement to just straight up put the sign back where it used to be. To put a sign on the back of the building? Well, I think they're allowed signage on the back. Kevin kinda okayed that. My argument would almost be that do they, need it, do they need a big box sign like that, even if it's not illuminated from the neighbors on Midland Avenue to see? Can something be a little softer, maybe like pin-mounted letters there? Uh, or nothing. Or nothing. So, yeah. And yeah. there'd probably be a sign on the door anyway. Yeah. On the glass. Just, to me, it doesn't make sense. I know Is you're- it illuminated? Yes, it's uh, illuminated in the same manner the other ones yeah. are. The, um, the face is a uh, solid blue aluminum, so that doesn't illuminate, only the letters illuminate. Yeah, I, I still think in nighttime it can't be illuminated. If I was a neighbor I would looking say at that thing. Okay, but not yeah, or, or, or a more subdued sign, like I say, maybe if you can get away from that boxed look. 
Yeah, but I would hate for them to return just for that. Right? Well. Would be a resubmission? Technically. Well. I don't think they have to pay for it, but they have to come back, you know. Right. Yeah. That's your fault. Well, I don't know. What do you, what do you guys feel? I, I don't think they need a sign on the back of the building. Well, I think that, that's number one. Let me ask you this, Bobby. Is, is the bank somewhat flexible or, or not? I can go to them. This was their proposed package. Yeah. I, okay. I, could, I could present that to them. Hmm. What, Tim, what do, you, what do you think on this? Yeah, I don't think there's need, a need for the sign on the back of the building. Right. I know you're... You know, you're a sign manufacturer, so naturally you want that extra sign. You know, I don't want to take business out of your pocket. But, uh, I mean, I'd be fine with the sign, but just not lit. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely no, no lighting. Yeah, definitely yeah. No lighting. yeah exactly. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't want to do that. Well, you know, Bob, how about if we'll, we'll go through this, and maybe at the end we'll ask you if you can go back to your Republic Bank people okay. and just say the board really does not, number one, no, no lighting back there. For the sake of the neighbors behind them, okay. Uh, if they scream and yell, we'll, we'll keep the box sign not illuminated, or maybe they can come up with something. Just doesn't have the jump that a big box sign has. Okay. Neighbors have to look at it. Okay. Like you say, maybe like pin mounted letters, something like that. Um, I mean, if there's going to be a sign there, like it, as long as it's not illuminated, I don't think it makes much difference. Okay. 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 Yeah. If it's just the, if it's just a sign that you're you're only going to see during the daylight, you know the building's there. Yeah. You've already arrived. Yeah. I mean, you've already arrived to the bank okay. if you're in the back, you're back of the bank. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jane? You've already arrived at the bank if yeah, you're right. in the back okay. of the bank. So Colin's just looking it up, and there, there, there was an existing sign there. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's, what? it's well screened. It's like two yeah, there, are, there are trees that are, yeah. are back okay. there. Yeah. I just don't think there's any need for any lighting. Okay. okay. All right. So you Especially, want to go down? Because you have lit bollards there already, which are going to protrude mm. light up. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Bollards right, right, okay. You know, and they're mm -hmm. so give light All right, so should we just ask Bob to go back to those people and just say, no the light. sign's okay, no lighting. So the cabinet okay. sign as it is is okay, just it can't be connected to, to the power, no illumination. Yeah. You guys okay. are good with that? Okay. All right, Jane, you're good with that? Sure. Okay. I have too many signs, or, or, but it's up or to Or unless them. they say forget the sign altogether. Yeah. Which would be, oh, oh, if it can't yeah. be illuminated, they, oh, okay. Yeah, they may say that, you know. Bob, we're fine if they want to get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the next page just shows that. Um, Bob, uh, uh, before I jump further, I'm sorry. The, uh, the wall sign on the front of the building, same thing, it'll be opaque. Yeah, and yeah. At time yeah. only, the letters will change. Uh, absolutely, yes. Okay, good. And the next page shows that they are, uh, the top of the uh, sign is, is at the maximum mm -hmm. of uh, 15 uh, feet from the grade level. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exceed yeah. that. Okay. And then it's just a, a clearance. Those, um, as uh, Jane was saying, this is um, vinyl decals on, on the column, the drive-through column, mm -hmm. showing their hours. Um, Kevin, when we spoke to him, said we should just include the rectangular portion, about a third of the sign that actually contains the Republic Bank name okay. in our square footage totals. Okay. Uh, the next page is the vinyl on the glass, as, as you had noted. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, we're just including that. Basically, 10 inch by one and a half, uh, one foot, eight inch area in our square footage total. Those are just our door handles. Kevin said that they weren't an issue. That's just the, you know replacing the TD bank. Mm -hmm. and those are, this is just part of our whole exterior package. So the push pull on the door. Um, they're the replacing. Rat, it's like the Ratner R. <laughs> uh, they're replacing the um, Not handicapped right. parking signs that were on the, you know, refreshing them. Are they, are they the same height as yes, currently there? Okay. And the one that's uh, off the island, all we did was paint the framework of it. Okay. All right. And then um, there's some uh, replacing the rectangular uh, portion of the sign. Replacing there were five uh, existing customer parking signs along the back I and refacing those. Same height on those too. Yeah, yeah. The okay. poles. All we did was straighten the poles, repaint them black, okay. and, and putting new faces on there. All right. And then the last page, uh, Kevin requests the square footage uh, calculations. All right. Good. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin was happy with it, the application, so I know okay. I know he worked with Bob for a while. Okay. Any other questions or comments from the board? No. No. Everybody's good. You know if they're doing any facade. 
I think, I don't know. I mean, I believe they're going to probably want to power wash or something, but I don't know that for a fact. Looks pretty bad. Well, we can suggest that. We're going to issue to make the motion, so maybe you can put that in there, too. Maybe, and also maybe refresh the landscape. All right. All right. They, okay. do, they do have a patch of green right on Lancaster Avenue. Okay. I believe they did that, and then they will redo it once we, we do the work on the three directional mm -hmm. signs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Bob, any further questions for the board? Uh, no. No. Colin, you want to, want to take that? I'll just ask that there just be the addition of the contingency on, or the condition of this, just double checking the, whether you can have a sign on the back of that building to begin with. Yeah. Okay. Because technically you're supposed to only, what, get a sign for, if, for, right. for frontage right. on a street. street. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. yeah, but I guess since it's already been there, I guess that's the. It was there, but it's no longer there. That's the issue that I have. If it was, if, if TD Bank sign was still there, yeah. then it would still be an existing nonconformity. You're saying once but it comes down. But by that TD sign coming off, yeah, that nonconformity may have been waived. Okay. That's my so uh, that's just the only thing. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's why he gets paid the big money. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, in the matter of DRB 2022-11, the application of Republic First Bank, uh, I move for con con didn't, uh, contingent approval based up, or conditional approval based upon uh, review of whether the sign on the rear elevation of the uh, property is still permitted based upon the removal of the TD bank sign. Uh, mention about the lighting? Uh, I missed that part. About if it's if the sign goes up, it'll be non-illuminated? Oh, yes, and that if the sign does get approved, that it will not be illuminated. And then Colin's suggestion was possibly power, power wash in the power. building? And that we recommend that the building be power washed. And Jane's <laughs> landscaping? And landscaping could be looked at. <laughs> and that landscaping be looked at. Subject to all of those uh, <laughs> conditions. All right. I move for approval. Okay, there is a second. I second. Okay, Can all in favor? Question, how will I find out the results of the nonconformity if the, the rear sign? All of this is going to have to go back for Kevin and his department's final approval and stuff. So okay. they'll look at the video from tonight and they'll hear everything that we said and then they'll go, all right, Tim. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. All right, all, okay, all in favor then? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. all right, thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Okay, last on tonight's agenda is DRB 2022-06, the application of goodness bowls, represented by Sinorama at 775 East Lancaster Avenue in Villanova for two wall signs. Hello there. Hello, uh, my name is Matt Cantafio. Uh, I'm with Sinorama Philadelphia. That's right. All right, good. Good to have you here tonight. Yeah, thanks for Missed having me. Missed you last month. Yeah, my manager came, and I guess he got here a little bit late. Okay. A lot of traffic coming out of Center City. No, no problem. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Glad you're here. Okay, want to walk us through what you, what you yeah, have Yeah, sure. So uh, this is at 775 East Lancaster Avenue. There are existing signs on both sides of the storefront for Snap Kitchen, and they are flush-mounted channel letters, uh, front-facing illuminated, and we're looking to replace Snap Kitchen's our sign will be wider, um, not as tall in height, but we'll place them in the same manner. They'll be flush mounted, front face, front lit channel letters. I'm sorry, you said your sign will be wider. Within that area. Yeah, I mean, okay. it, Snap Kitchens is not, it's a different layout. Okay, the box will be the same. The letters are gonna still be in that, in that square. Yes, okay, you know, gotcha. But it technically, you know, it's wider than Snap Kitchen's logo. Right, okay. 13-inch um, letters, vinyl logo. It's pretty basic. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you guys, guys do? What do what we is, do? What is the business? Uh, goodness Bowls, I'm representing Goodness Bowls. I'm for Sinorama. Okay, you don't know. So, yeah, Goodness Bowls, yeah, I, I know they have a, a store in Avalon. Okay. And it's a mother and a daughter own it, and it's healthy kind of, you know, like, uh, acai bowls and salads, things like that. I would say like a competitor of like a honey row. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I know they do well in Avalon and mm -hmm. I believe they'll do well here too. Good, good. All right. What do you guys think? 
Easy peasy. Easy peasy. As long as he addresses there. Yeah. Addresses. Yeah, we'll just make sure he addresses. The address is existing. Yeah. But yeah, but we will we'll replace it if, if or, it needs. Or just to. make sure it's there. Yeah. Yeah, it, four inch letter or four inch numbers. On yeah. top of the yeah, the seven seventy five, yeah. sure. That's what so you need. It should be on a door somewhere, I, I, I imagine, but yeah, just, the, just double check that. I'll I will double check, yeah, yeah, but I believe it's there. Okay, good. All right. Any other questions or comments for our board? No, I mean, uh, the, you know what we replaced for snap kitchen the holes. We'll cover cover them with these, so mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to be an issue for the facade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty simple. So. Hey, right. I, I think this will be a, a, a prettier sign than snap kitchen. So good. No, I'm saying I hope they do well. Yeah, yeah. I, there's been a lot of turnover in that. Store. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I, I think they do. You know, I, my family that goes to Avon, they said that's really good. So I think they're going to have a good business here. With Villanova, I think, healthy eaters in college. Sure. Okay. <laughs> There's something <laughs> drawn in. What's that? No, nothing. I was just making a comment about Snap. Not, it just didn't draw it in. Yeah. Right. Never seemed busy. Mm -hmm. Snap was expensive. Yeah. And it was bad during the, the pandemic. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Jane, you want to take this one? Okay. DRB 2022-06 Sinorama for Goodness Bowls, 775 East Lancaster Avenue. Replacing the snap kitchen sign with a new vinyl lettered sign. Here a second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good Appreciate luck. it. <clears throat> all right, guys. Anything else for tonight? We're in good shape. Next meeting is April 13th. All right. So, so we'll see you then. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I will not be Put up their signs without permission. I know. I think I need my.